How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about will lifting heavy weights make your arms bigger? So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Please click the bell notification button so you guys get all my newest videos. So will lifting heavy weights make your arms bigger? Um, my arms are pretty big. I get compliments on my arms quite often. They're about 17 and a half inches. Um, 18, they're 18 inches when I get to when I'm at about 200 pounds. I actually just started a cutting period where I started at 201. I'm now down to 183. So being at 183, they're now sitting at about 17, 17 and a half, but they're way leaner. They look very, very good um, because you can see the striations. Now, I've been doing this for 11 years. I've been training my biceps, my triceps. I know what works. I know how to grow them. Um, the reason why I don't get them any bigger than 18 inches, it's because I just don't want to consume too many calories. It's just, it gets very, very annoying. So I'm happy with how my arms are and that's probably how they're going to stay for probably the rest of my life. Um, you, the thing with growing arms, how to grow your arms takes two things. One, you got to progressively overload. So what that means is you have to get stronger in some way. It doesn't necessarily have to be lifting weights, but you have to do more than what you did last time. I'll talk more about that. Second one, obviously, is you have to eat in a caloric surplus. So you need to actually gain weight. If you try to get stronger, but you don't, per you don't eat in a caloric surplus, your arms will not get bigger. They will not. And eventually what will happen is you won't be able to get stronger because you're not getting bigger. So they kind of go hand in hand. Um, with the progressive overload, you don't have to increase the weight. You can increase the reps. You can increase the sets. What I'm a big believer in now too, after lots and lots of years of heavy lifting, is increasing the time under tension, increasing the range of motion. For example, barbell curls. Let's say... Let's say you're lifting heavy weights. You're lifting, when I do barbell curls, the, the most weight I'll do is about 140 pounds, so about 70 pounds on each side. And um, I'll do six repetitions. Let's say I'm doing 95 pounds. So let's say 100 pounds, 50 pounds on each side. And I'm curling. Here's how you can get stronger even though you're not lifting 140 pounds. Let's say one week I did 100 pounds and my time under tension each rep was say, uh, say two seconds. So for example, it would be like this. So it'd be one, two, one, two, one, two. So that's pretty, pretty quick repetitions, right? I can increase my strength. I can get bigger arms by doing this. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So as you can see, what I did is I added an extra set on the way up and on the way down. I added an extra second. So that increased the time under tension on each single repetition. That is a way to get stronger. That is a way to increase your bicep size. You see guys that have really, really big arms. A lot of the older guys that have been training for a long time they're not using 60, 70, 80 pound dumbbells. They're using 40, 50, 60 pound dumbbells because what they're doing is they're increasing, uh, they're progressively overloading by using other techniques, using techniques that isn't just about adding weight because what I've finally started to realize too is that once you start lifting really, really, really heavy weights, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get hurt and that is kind of why I stopped powerlifting. The weights were just getting so heavy. So obviously lifting heavy weights can make your arms bigger, but you don't need to lift super, super heavy weights to get big arms. I would say when my arms, um, when my arms are 18 inches, I can literally maintain them curling like 45 or 50 pounds. I don't need to do 60, 65, 70 pounds. I don't need to do that. Um, so you don't need super, super, super heavy weight. Look into progressive overload techniques and there's like 20 different techniques you can do. That's a great way to grow your arms without adding heavy weights. But 
Obviously, if you keep adding weight to the barbell, you keep eating um, in a caloric surplus, you're gonna get stronger. It's as simple as that because guess what? Adding weight too is another way of progressive overload. So will lifting heavy weights make your arms bigger? Absolutely, but you don't have to if you don't want to either. So end of video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please click the bell notification button. You guys get all my newest videos.